So check this out. This is the Oculus Quest and I'm legitimately super excited about this VR headset. It just came in the mail. I'm like, I need to unbox this now. This video is sponsored by Oculus. So shout out to them for sponsoring this video and sending this out to me. Now let's get this sucker open. We've all heard of Oculus, right? They came out with the Oculus Rift a while back and that was groundbreaking technology. I just thought it was a little bit too inconvenient for me personally because you have to hook it up to a computer. But this, all of it is contained inside and also gives you six degrees of freedom what does that mean well you know most headsets you get to look around and see your environment this way but with six degrees of freedom you have your controllers that you could move around like this and you can also walk around and it'll detect where you are and you don't have to have a bunch of external stuff to support it so it's convenient for a lazy person like me so here's the headset itself and look at that you can adjust the distance between each eyeball wow so this is it now no weird cables hanging off it do i just put it on so here's the controller and they were very adamant to use these wrist straps probably because so many people get too into the game. So this is pretty much it. I'm just going to go plug this in, but I love how simple it is. I just pull it out of the box, just plug it in. And I think it's ready to go. So let me give this a nice little charge and we'll come back. This is crazy. Literally, as soon as I put these on, I forget I'm in this studio. <laughs> Hold on, I was just throwing paper airplanes and playing with stuff. It makes sense though. I see why they're like, make sure you put these wrist things on and I get it now, why? It's because you get so lost and you totally forget where you are. You forget you're holding remotes even. What the f Oh, it's a rocket. Ah! Oh my, guys, I don't even know what to say right now. This thing is amazing. Now, before we get any further, let me just clarify something. Yes, this video is sponsored by Oculus, but they're very clear for me to try it out and give my honest opinion. And literally in the contract, it says, be honest and truthful and don't say stuff you don't believe in. And I believe this thing is the most exciting thing I've tried out in a very long time. So let's get into it. When I first heard about the Oculus Quest, this is before I even had a partnership with them, I was actually really excited because I was browsing for a simple headset that I can use to watch all my 360 videos that I've shot in the past. And really that was the only type of VR that I was familiar with, you know? And it's cool, you get to watch videos in 360, look around and you kind of feel like you're there in that video but generally speaking about 15 to 20 minutes and your eyes might start to strain you might get a headache or you get bored but i can safely say this thing on a whole nother level and remember i'm contractually obligated to tell the truth right now now let's start with comfort because that's very important i was actually surprised that i would keep this headset on for hours straight literally the entire battery life of this thing which was about two and a half hours and when i would take it off i personally had zero eye strain i didn't have any headaches and I actually wanted to just keep on going and that was actually something that surprised me personally because in the past I've never wanted to leave a headset on for more than 20 minutes this thing could do all the basic stuff like watching 360 videos online or just browsing the web but what really takes this to the next level is the six degrees of freedom well what does that mean well this headset you could actually move around in space and it will detect that so that enables you to actually walk around in space duck down and dodge bullets and with these controllers as well not only can you use it to point out different things but you can actually move it around in space and in some of the games it looks like you have hands so you could actually go huh and then you could pick stuff up and throw paper airplanes i mean it's kind of mind-blowing when you do it for the first time and a lot of the content is 3d as well so in games you could actually look at stuff and it looks like it's actually there things pop out at you if you haven't tried six degrees of freedom yet trust me it's a whole nother experience and i actually had a blast letting my friends try it and watching <laughs> them experience it for the first time <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. get on the oh, ground mother Oh, oh my god, what do I do? Oh, dang. <laughs> Dude, it was so crazy. I've never tried anything like it. So just being in the world and just being able to touch stuff. For a minute, I forgot where I was. I would always think, oh, I'm facing this way. And then when I would take it off, I'll be like over here somewhere. <laughs> and they've done a really great job making things feel real and tangible. I mean, these controllers will vibrate if you smack something with your sabers. And this has speakers built in that gives you surround sound. I don't even know where the speakers are on this thing. But the surround sound is awesome because you hear gunshots going off to your right and then you look over and you realize someone's shooting at you. There's also headphone jacks, so throw on your noise canceling headphones 
phones and you'll be totally lost. I love it when they take advanced technology like this and they make it super user friendly that anyone can pretty much put on this headset and immediately start using it. I went from pretty much knowing nothing about VR to being fully comfortable with this headset in about 10, maybe 15 minutes. And I also got this travel case so everything just fits in here nicely. I mean, this Oculus Quest is exactly what VR needed to go mainstream because first of all, it's easy to use, it's compact, it's super cool, and the pricing. Currently, it is priced at $399 for this 64 gig model, which is what I have, and it is worth every dollar. Now, one of the first questions I had was, how do you prevent yourself from running into a wall and breaking all your stuff? It's actually very simple, and this is a great job walking you through the process step by step. So it draws a grid on the floor, you just draw a little outline of your safe area, and as soon as you get close to the edge, it'll give you a warning. Another question I had was exactly how much space do you need? Do you need a giant, big, wide open space inside your house? Because I don't really have that. But all the apps do a really good job making it so you actually don't need a whole lot of space. If you could take a few steps in each direction and not smack something, then you're good. If you happen to have a giant open space, you can utilize all that. Or if you have no space, you can play it stationary or even sitting down. You can actually start to become pretty good exercise. You could go boxing, you can play tennis. One of the accessories I recommend the most a fan just blasting your face the whole time or else you're gonna be drenched in sweat. But the fact that I'm getting some light exercise while doing this is actually awesome because I really do enjoy gaming, but I purposely try to stay away from it because last thing I wanna do is spend more hours hunched over a computer or sitting on the couch. If I spend two whole hours playing Beat Saber, I don't feel guilty. So check this out, I just finished my physical therapy session and check out how much motion I've been getting in my arm right now. I'm 30 degrees to 130 now, so that's pretty good. My physician was like, you've been doing something right to be getting all this motion. And you know what? It's probably that Oculus Quest because for hours I'm moving my arms around and this Oculus came in at a perfect time. I've been getting good motion and exercise out of this thing. And when you have internet connection, there's actually a social aspect to this as well. I just downloaded a poker app. When I look around and I see other avatars standing nearby and I was like, wait a second, can you guys hear me? And everyone looks over and they're like, yeah, what's up? <laughs> And I was like, oh my God, I'm actually here in this room. And you could hear people talking to you. It's crazy. It's, it's what? nuts. It's nuts. One thing I was really surprised about was the precision of these controllers. Because some of the games, you're required to just wave them all over the place really, really fast. And it tracks it really well. But keep in mind that this is designed for indoor use only. It will not work outdoors. I think super bright direct sunlight can confuse these controllers a little bit. But once you find yourself a proper play area, these these things work. With this kind of precision and ability, I think there's so many practical applications and possibilities with this thing. Maybe for something like emulated training, for something like maybe even a helicopter pilot, or if you could wear this and they would make a game that you would play while you're running on a treadmill or something, I would be hitting the gym every day. Now, I know I always do a giveaway on my sponsored videos, but for legal reasons, I'm not allowed to do one on this video, but maybe if you follow me on Instagram, I might be doing some stuff over there that's completely unrelated to this. Anyways, enough chit chat. Let's throw this on and let's go play a couple games. Let's go. So let's check out Robo Recall, which is one of the first games that I got really into. Now, I know to you guys, this just seems like a regular game because you guys are just watching it in 2D. But to me, everything is in 3D and I feel super immersed in this whole situation and I'm freaking out. Okay, get away from that guy. This is the first time I've gotten really into a first person shooter like this because it doesn't feel like I'm just pushing buttons on a game controller anymore. It feels like I'm there. I feel like I'm holding these guns. I feel like I'm being attacked. Whoa, there's a guy right there. Okay, my head off. Get out of here. And it's really interactive. I can grab this guy. I can rip his head off and I can throw him at other bad guys. And then goodbye. Saving this Beat Saber for last because I'm going to break a sweat in a second. I got the power. I got the power, I got unlimited power. Yeah. I got the power, I got unlimited power. I got the power, I got unlimited power. It's running the game, we're gonna play the same. I was just going insane. From red to blue, from blue to red, the from red, from overhead. We're playing.
coming closer. Victory is mine. I'm making history this time. I'm living this moment, living the only, giving up only when my score is higher. You cannot find no one better than me. You cannot cover my delicacy. You cannot follow my legacy, please. Cause I'm a phenomenon and carry on. Cause I can go on and on. And anything else you can say for later, we're playing Beat Saber. I'm sweating now. That was a workout. That was a workout. Whew. <laughs> that was a B. All that work, that was a B. Oh, God. <laughs>